What if I say with the new release of Exit Automation Spreadite MCP server, you are not only just going to run an UI and API test without writing even a single line of code, but you're also going to generate the code while you run the tests. That is what we're going to be discussing in this particular video. And you're going to be doing everything effortlessly by using the latest version of the Playwright MCP server. And you will see that the power has evolved a lot with all these new features that I have released this time. And if you just go to the MCP server or the Playwright MCP server over here in our Excel Automation uh, GitHub over here. And if you just go to the documentation and if you go all the way to the documentation, as you can see that we have got the, uh, the updates which can be seen in this release notes over here. Let me just go and refresh this release note. For some reason, it's taking some time. As you can see, the version 1.0.3, we have got the core generation capability, which is going to add the new core generation capability, which is going to have a start core generation session and end core generation session, and then get core generation session to retrieve the information about the session which is executing and clear the core generation session. So these are the four new tools which has been added. Thank you so much for the community contribution to the guys, Alex, who has did all these changes recently. And also we have got a enhanced browser navigation, which is gonna be uh, doing the uh, playwright uh, go back uh, to the browser uh, and go forward. Uh, and then we have got playwright drag and drop and also the press key, uh, save as PDF, and then playwright get visible text and playwright get visible HTML. This is gonna extract all the visible text which is available in the current page and also the all the HTML is available in the current page for you. So these are the new tools which has been added. And if you go to the uh, supporter tools in the Playwright web features over here, you can see that we have a section for the code generation tool. And we also have got the browser automation tool. So we have got a bunch of different tools as you can see. And if you try to compare these tools that we have got in the Playwright MCP server, this is the highest volume of the uh, tools that we have got with the Playwright MCP server, which is not available in other Playwright MCP server. And I'm sure you're gonna compare the Playwright MCP server with other tools which is already evolving. In that case, this tool is already getting matured. So if you want, you can use this tool. But as that said, I'm just gonna quickly show you a demonstration of how you can do the code generations and also how you can uh, you can do the uh, executions over here. So if I just gonna go to the cloud over here, you gotta be in the latest version of the, um, with the Playwright MCP server, which is the 1.0.3, because that is what is shown in the release notes over here. Uh, and I'm gonna choose that particular version and then I'm gonna start writing a test. And now over here in the cloud desktop, if you just go here and if you just see the tools that we have got for the Playwright MCP server, we have got around 29 tools which is huge because while I released this particular tool, we only had like seven tools and now we are around 29 tools, which is amazing. And now if I just go and go and paste this particular code over here, it says navigate to this particular website and it's gonna be the same exact thing that you have seen even before. But just that over here, I'm gonna say, uh, generate the code of for the execution or of the execution. That is what uh, I'm gonna go and tell this time over here. And you can also tell that if you want to run this particular test in the, uh, not just in the Chrome browser, if you want to run this entire test in the Firefox browser, you can tell that as well, because now we have support for multiple different browsers. So it's not just restricted to Chrome. We also support Firefox, also support the WebKit browsers if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna leave this default option over here, and then I'm gonna uh, hit enter and you will notice that it is going to start running the test for me and you see that the cloud is now going to say okay because you have told me to generate the code so it's going to run the code generation session so i'm going to allow this for the chat and you see that it's going to create a folder like slash temp uh, playwright test and now it is going to start doing the code generations and you will notice that the browser is going to open and these things are going to be pretty much exactly like how we have seen before. I'm just going to leave all these to perform a login operation. So let's keep doing that and let's wait for the execution. Look at that. It has performed the click. It's going to go to the employee list and then it is now trying to create the new user. I think it's gonna invoke another tool for the select operation, which is playwright select. I'm gonna hit okay. And let's wait for all the data entry, wait for the create, there we go. And now it is going to close the uh, the playwright over here. And look at that. Now it's gonna run, end the code session because the code generation should be completed. And you see that we are gonna get a, a code generation session for what it has been uh, generated over here. And look at that we are getting all these details. 
and now the code is being stored in the uh, temp folder of the playwright uh, slash test directory over here and then you can start using this particular uh, code for your test execution and now if i want to see this particular code which is generated if i just go over here so this tab slash temp slash playwright test over here you see that the code is just being created and i'm just going to open with the uh, visual studio code to see how this particular code looks like this one as you can see over here we have got the entire code the employee uh, creation test over here and it says the navigating to the page uh, click this particular url and fill this form uh, uh, with the username and password click the uh, submit and then employee create blah 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 and until the submit button look at that the code is now being generated guys you don't even have to write single line of code to generate this code so you have got a test and you see that now this is written using the playwright test format which is even more amazing because you don't even have to do anything right now you have got the test and you have the entire test over here all you have to do right now is npx playwright test and the test file name it is going to run this test for you one more time uh, for you and you see that the test creation is so much amazing this time this is one way of you doing it and in order to show you one more use case i'm going to show you how you can use this pretty much exactly the same command that you have got over here so basically i'm going to put the same uh, same command that i have given the same prompt that i have given over here and i'm going to say generate the code and save it in slash uh, tests folder uh, so you will notice that over here this time this is going to uh, this is going to go and save in this particular folder for me so that so make sure that you have the playwright uh, mcp server the latest one uh, configured and now if i try to do a send over here look at that what is going to basically happen this is going to go and uh, go and create a folder for me which is the tests folder uh, and then it is going to uh, start running the test for me let's see look at that it's going to invoke the the playwright uh, navigate tool and then it is going to do the navigation to the ea app.swami.com and then it is going to take a screenshot just wait for the entire operation to complete it's going to click the login uh, takes a screenshot and it's going to do a fill operation like the username and then the password uh, and take a screenshots once again and it clicks the create new there we go and then it starts filling up uh, all of these details like john smith uh, and then probably the salary and then it is gonna do a click to create the user now it is doing a playwright close session and look at that it is create uh, it is going to do this create underscore employee dot js file so it is creating all the tests that it has uh, um, that it has performed the right now the operation and it is doing that over here and it's also creating a package dot json file as you can see which you can use to execute the test which is amazing see now it has got the dependency of the uh, the playwright test as well even though it is not latest dependency really but it has got all the details that you need it also has got the playwright.config.js file that you need uh, to execute the test and we have got a readme file as well and look at that it has now created the entire project for me it's the the employee.js file which is this one let me accept all of these so that i can show you so we have got the entire uh, employee.js file uh, and we have got the uh, playwright.config.js file we have got the package.js uh, uh, json file and we have got the readme file so these things are pretty much enough so all you have to do right now is just do an npm uh, install which is going to install all the package and then you can just do npm uh, uh, run test uh, playwright and then or npm test playwright and then you can just see uh, uh, you can just call this particular uh, js file to run this particular test for you this is how you can see that you can do perform all these operation without writing even a single line of code and now you have got an pro level test as well generated for you this is the power of the new playwright mcp server and i'm quite excited to see how you guys are going to try it out and use it in your everyday operation once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one with the latest new releases and thank you so much for supporting all these days with all new playwright supports